here's transparency time. I'll confess this is something I've struggled with both sides of. The judging each side. Um, I spent the early part of my 20s listening to a lot of talk radio and conservative talk radio, which is really says, hey, poor people, pull yourself up by your bootstraps like I did. And I started to get this idea that, that somehow all those people that are poor is because they didn't work hard, or they just need to try harder, or they need to do something different. And there's so many flaws with that. Because as a Christian, I know what the Bible says. Everything good that comes my way is by grace. That doesn't mean I don't have to work. I think working hard is a trait that is good among Christians, working hard as God has called us to. But, but I assume that these people didn't do it. And, and I forget the grace of God on everything that I do because we live in a fallen world and without God's grace on your work is futile. And we've all seen this in different ways in our life. Um, seen it with gardens where you plant a garden, you put the right soil in, you put the right fertilizer in, you put the right seeds in, you buy the expensive seeds. And for some reason, something doesn't grow. The birds eat it. The wrong type of you know weather comes. It freezes too early. You get a blight from somebody else's garden. Whatever. You worked at it. You did the work. It didn't grow. And, and for me to assume that, for my heart at that point in my life, to assume that of everybody else around me was wrong, it made me cold. I didn't look at people in lower economic circumstances and have, have love and grace and have a heartache for them. I was cold and I was self-righteous and, and it was messed up. And, and God, I think God's brought me out of that. I don't listen to conservative talk radio so much anymore. Um, but my current struggle, the last few years of my life, have been the opposite. I've looked at people of wealth and said, I wonder who they screwed over to get that. I look at people with money and I think, I bet they don't spend time with their kids like I do. Because they have more money than me, I spend time with my kids. They have money, I have relationships. Um, it's true, that's, that's my heart. It's just, just wicked. And, and then I think if you have money, you must not have to rely on God. Because I have to rely on God to pay my bills. You don't. You rely on your money. And not that long ago, I was looking at Facebook. And I found an old acquaintance from high school. Not somebody who's really a friend, but an acquaintance. I don't think I was friends with them. I don't know if I liked them or disliked them. But I looked... And I saw their Facebook, and they were doing bottle appearances pretty well. Uh, they had a good job. They had a good career. They had good money. And I, and I started looking at their Facebook, and I wanted to see what groups they joined so I could see if they weren't as holy as me. Or, or if, if maybe there was something I could find flaws in them, because then I wouldn't feel so bad, because they're rich, and they must have screwed up somewhere, because I'm not rich. And that is a wicked heart. And I, and I confess, and it's something that I, I choose to reject. And I think as a church, I don't think I'm alone here. I think as Christians, it's easy for us to look at people in different places in life than we are and assume that they did something wrong. They don't deserve the grace we got. They're, we're doing better that they did something wrong. We decide based on race, economics, who's faithful to Jesus and who's not faithful to Jesus. The church, by nature of common brokenness, common salvation, should be unified, it should be different, it should reflect the diversity of our community. If we are a gospel-centered church with our eyes on who Jesus is and what he's done at all times, we will be diverse. Because we live in a town that's diverse and a county that's diverse. So, Here's my take home. Um, for me, hopefully for you, as, as we worship today, as we worship today, think about who you are in your relationship with God. Who you are through God's eyes. Which, if you are a Christian, he looks and he sees Jesus. He sees his righteousness given to you. Jesus did that for you. And, and then reflect on the way that you view people in our community. It may not be race, it may be economics, may not be economics, it may be race. There's different things. And see where that's at. And take the opportunity to repent of where it's wrong. Rejoice where it's going right. Um, yeah. Justin's going to come up.